Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. You saw the title of this video and probably thought, hold on, how do you have a full set of Series Warrior? Or <laughs> Warrior Series, Series Warrior? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, Series 9 or Warrior Series. Yeah, look at this guys, oh. Way, way back in the day, I bought a full box of Warrior series, and I've been uh, rationing them out, I've been opening them in different videos, and I sold a full set to a good friend of mine. And not only did he buy this full set, he gave me permission to open them on camera to make a video first. I think, it, you know, it's pretty great that, uh, you know, I, I can open something and then he can have the set that was open on the channel, but also, he explained that he would much rather just collect the stuff than open them, so it actually worked out perfectly. Warrior series is one of the best. It, it's top tier. It's up there with the greats like Clash on the Ring. It, it, it's just so good. You get a color coordinated set, which I have so much respect for. A Promethean Warrior with a gummy bolt shot. A really gorgeous Flame Marine, Red Marine, Atriox. A projection of Atriox. That's so insane. We got eight of these today. We're going to break them all open and I'm going to build them as quickly as possible because uh, this will take a while. <laughs> like I acknowledge that this will be a long video. Eight blind bags does take a long time to open and build. In one of my previous videos, I did Halo Infinite Series 4 blind bag review, and they're all pre-built, so the video was actually pretty short. All right, what have we got to start us off today? Da -da -da -da. It's the Promethean Warrior. Arguably the best figure in this set. I mean, I think it is. Look at those gummy eyes, man. Like, can the camera even pick that up? Gummy translucent eyes. That is pure evil. Even though we don't really understand the Promethean Warriors or who they're even fighting for because the Didact's dead or how they all got off Requiem or like, like pretty much anything. But yeah, the fact that the gummy runs all the way through the, uh, the whole piece, like the whole character is so great. So we'll snap this guy together. Some red details on his chest there. Very nice. It's uh, honestly, a great figure. I really do enjoy uh, collecting Prometheans. I know fighting them in the games was a little lackluster. Kellen even reflected on that recently when we were uh, fighting the Sentinels in Halo Infinite. And he was like, it's kind of boring just firing against robots that just soak up your bullets. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty much the description of Halo 4 and 5. But also I love that this chest piece looks like a guardian. Like that's, that's a completely intentional design, right? Like it looks like a mini guardian. That has to be the reason 343 did it. Pop that into the back and their legs. Uh, this is actually a really simple figure to build because it doesn't require uh, torso pieces, like pelvis pieces. It doesn't require any leg uh, armor or or arm armor. Arm armor sounds very bizarre. And then we can pop that in. Look at that. Gorgeous figure. Gorgeous, gorgeous figure. The Promethean Warriors did come out in a uh, reasonable amount of sets, probably because Mega put so much into the production of them. And that gummy bolt shot, really nice. Just so random to include a gummy bolt shot of all things, but I really love it. I love putting uh, gummy weapons with standard figures from time to time. I think they look really great. And this Promethean really does look cool. I love that the gummy matches his eyes and his, uh, his what would you call it, like armpits? <laughs> the, gu the gummy red matches his armpits really well. <laughs> what a ridiculous statement. Oh, I cut the instruction manual in half there. Three, two, one. There we go. It's the grunt. The grunt is purple. Kind of matches the color scheme. It could have been red, but it, it doesn't need to be. I love that 343 just sort of plays around with the uh, the cannon slash non-cannon Yap Yap the Destroyer. Actually, in recent times, the Yap Yap the Destroyer Mega Constructs figure actually fetches a pretty penny online. I love that the grunts have studs that you actually attach in. It's so horrific, right? This is Fernandez, the grunt. He does not want to be alive. I'll tell you that much. It's nice to see so much printed detailing on an actual uh, headpiece though, uh, for a grunt at least. We never usually get, uh, not anymore anyway, we don't get any colored eyes or uh, mouth. We should, but we don't. And these grunts are very bulky. I, I really liked when they made the change. I actually for a while didn't think Mega was even gonna bother making the change to new articulation for the grunts, but they did and they look great. A Storm Covenant plasma pistol in hand. I, I was saying recently on uh, one of my reviews that I, I really do enjoy the Storm Covenant purple. It was on my Jewel and Dharma ghost review. I like it. I like it. And I like that grunt. 
Very nice. Bag number three. What's your gonna be? It's the Halo 3 Spartan with a red visor. What a nice touch. Silver and red. I was saying recently, I love when there's like bright neon-ish colors that just make the figure pop. It makes the figure a lot more, um, a lot more memorable, I'd say. Like a, a lot of the, I, I love the new uh, metallic green that has come in with the new generation of Halo Infinite Spartans. But before that, the olive green Spartans. Oh my gosh, they're all so forgettable. Apart from Fireteam Venom, I wouldn't be able to identify uh, properly where any of the figures are from. Like, they're, they're so forgettable. This is not, however. This silver is bad to the bone. I love these bright silver ones, and it just, it comes together with a neon red, like, bright popping out visor. Like, what a random choice. I'd like to think that Mega, like, storyboards these, or, like, makes loads of iterations to decide which ones they go for. And <laughs> this bright red as well. Like, what is this bright red? That's such a cartoonish red. I dislike the uh, sort of cartoonish red that Mega have been putting in some Banshees. Sometimes they are just like weird cartoonishy colors. Like for example, the Arbiter's Quest Arbiter with this really pink, oh, like overly pink carbine. Still, our Spartan's looking really good. And we will take a moment to look at the instruction manual. Uh, with these series, they made the figures really small and I never really understood why. They were always quite quite small, right? Oh, I do also apologize if my focus has been a bit iffy on this review. Turns out my focus switch was uh, a little off. I do respect that the Atriox is the ultra rare, but that Promethean uh, warrior should have been a common, I believe. Just should have allowed us to army build it more. Switch it out for that recruit. We don't need so many. The red marine though, great for army building. I love that red marine. I love this figure. We got some nice ones so far. What have, what have we got? Uh, a rare and two commons. Let's see if we can get an ultra rare. Let's see if we can get our Atriox. And now it'll look like this whole thing was fixed if I do actually get Atriox. Three, two, one. No, okay, I got another common. I got the Marine. Love this red Marine. Love the Halo 4 Marine style that sort of continued into Halo 5 like most things did. And the uh, mix of colors uh, across the limbs is much appreciated. I always give praise when praise is due and I always believe that praise is due when it comes to uh, mixing up the colors halfway down the limbs, making sure they're not, uh, they're not boring, basically. There we go, very nice. Just a fantastic figure, really. I mean, the Halo Infinite Series 4 Marine in the blind bags did surprise me because it actually came with a backpack. These, uh, you, you know, almost always Marines don't, but this is way more value for money than the new Halo Infinite Marines because it actually comes with two shoulder pieces and it comes with a leg strap, which the new Marines do not. They're just, uh, they're pretty bland, but they are better in other ways. Like they have the removable balaclava and helmet. Very nice. Not removable balaclava, that is the headpiece, but the removable helmet. That is four. That means we're halfway through our opening. Let's see if we can get Atriox. We failed the first time I predicted it. Will we fail the second time? Three, two, one. Whoa, I guess we did. <laughs> I guess we failed, guys. We failed miserably. So every Halo blind bag always has a grunt, and pretty much every Halo blind bag has a plain Spartan. Just a standard uh, standard run-of-the-mill Spartan, and I don't think that's ever an accident. I think it's always Mega just trying to, like, include, you know, your base soldier. Like, they'll always try and include a Marine, they'll always try and include a grunt. Elites and Brutes can vary, uh, depending on the series. Sometimes we don't get either. Sometimes we don't get one of the two. Brutes are actually pretty rare in blind bags, which is a shame. There have been so many amazing brutes like the brute captain in the Halo 10th anniversary blind bags. I got it. Look at that. Nice. I guess the, the weapons could be swapped if you wanted, or I guess you could argue that they're just a, a team, a little squad. And the metallic blue, like, actually, yeah, Mega's really nailed the visors with these ones. Like, what nice, vibrant colors for each visor. So we've got uh, mostly commons so far, right? That's four commons. Yeah, so that means uh, the Elite is the only common left, and the Ultra Rares are the Flame Marine and Atriox. Are we gonna get Atriox? Three, two, one. Ooh. No, we're not. It's the Ultra Rare Flame Marine, which means the two left are a common Elite and the Ultra Rare Atriox. Okay, nice rubber uh, band-ish thing, pipe. This is definitely the figure that takes the longest to build. I mean, it's got so many pieces, but I do, I think I mentioned this in one of my recent blind bag openings. I really respect that Mega uh, went back to basics and reprised the Hellbringer, reprised, uh, well, this is kind of the Hellbringer, 
they're kind of the flamery. They reprise the mold anyway. They might not have done it if not for Halo Wars 2, right? Halo Wars 2 brought back the Flame Marines, uh, brought in the Hellbringers, so it was the right time for it. But uh, yeah, maybe if they hadn't done that, maybe if Halo Wars 2 hadn't come out, Mega wouldn't have reprised this figure. But at the same time, maybe they would because it is a legacy character having been introduced in the original uh, Halo Mega Bloks line pretty much straight away as one of the only like five figures, right? Like back in the day, Mega only had about five different figures, like a Marine, an Elite, Grunt, Brute, Spartan, and Flame Marine. Like there were there was a very small amount. So you got to celebrate that they brought back this Flame Marine and they did it with style, man. Like there are so many paint apps to this Marine. It looks like we're missing uh, a, a torso piece. Oh, ha ha ha, there we go. I was gonna say, <laughs> I've already sold this. <laughs> I don't want it to be missing a piece. Flamethrower in hand. They didn't really change the flamethrower mold over the years, but they did include this brand new pipe, which is way better than the than the original design because the original design was sort of like it, it always looked kinked. This one uh, actually looks like it, it, it's a functioning pipe, <laughs> which <laughs> functionality is what you want from your flame marine. He still holds it really well, and yeah, again, just a lot of really nice vibrant colors. The gold visor is awesome, pretty standard issue. The silver again matches what we've had uh, in other figures and weapons, I guess. And then we've got the red that matches the marine. Uh, it, it all just comes together like it feels like a really well-connected uh, set. Like you could identify which one's Warrior Series. Like if you were looking around, you're like, oh, where's my last Warrior Series figure? I don't know where it is. You'd be able to figure it out. Like they they, they work well, they're in harmony. Let's see if we can get Atriox or um, is my luck gonna run out and is it gonna be the last ever figure? Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Truly, the uh, ultra rare Atriox holds out till last. I guess, uh, I guess he knows his importance. He really wants to be. It's well, it's like Halo Infinite. You tease Atriox and then you bring him in in a future game. Like he's uh, he's holding out on us. I do one day want to do a uh, some kind of community blind bag speed build challenge or something where like people time themselves how fast they can open and then build a blind bag. Something along those lines. I, I'm think I'm thinking about the details. This elite, while playing on the surface, does have this nice printed detailing on his helmet, which you've got to give credit for. All right, seven out of eight. That means the only one left is our Atriox. He held out until now. He knew that's why you clicked on the video. So he just, uh, he wanted audience retention on my video. <laughs> so out of the way, everybody, we've got Atriox to build. The, uh, I was about to say the man, the myth, the legend, uh, the gorilla, the myth, the legend, the big bad monkey, he who opposed the covenant and rose against them to create the banished and then mysteriously just died at the beginning of Halo Infinite. Like I still see that as the stupidest design choice. Like I, I get it. Like um, Atriox obviously had to be saved for a future game. You can't just have the main big baddie taken out in the first game. Like you can't do that. You have to have like, yeah, like his henchman, like uh, Escherim. But to say in the, like pretty much the second cutscene that he's dead, it's just confusing, man. Like why not just say he's unreachable? Why not just say he went to the Ark and we can't get hold of it? Why say that he's dead? Like it just seems so strange to me. Like it makes sense uh, narratively if Atriox uh, defeated the Infinity and then thought the battle was won and just left his uh, second in command to monitor the ring and just went to do other business. But to say he's dead just seemed so strange to me. Ah, he looks so good, uh, especially like in the warship Gabracken with Atriox uh, projections. It just makes this ever more awesome, uh, ever more like a, an essential collectible for Halo fans. It is a shame that the price of it online is pretty outrageous, but we have got the new gummy Escherim that comes in the Banished Phantom. So if you can't get hold of this one, you should get the Banished Phantom. And then you at least have one of the, the big bad monkeys that can command your troops via hologram. And the, also the Escherim Eshram is way better than this one because the Eshram has uh, many different paint apps, like different shades of red. This is just one gummy red, but uh, the Banished Phantom has a big upgrade on that. Whoa, that one popped in nicely. Look at him. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely hate the size of his hammer. I think it's so goofy, like he should have a way larger hammer. So small. I, and technically it is small in Halo Infinite and Halo Wars 2, but it should be a bit bigger than that. Gummy base plate. 
Uh, I'm looking at this now and I'm like, oh, I've already sold this. I don't want to give it away. I do have one of these in England, but it's like, oh man, I want as many as possible. This is so epic. You can see a lot of his uh, detailings. I can see with the naked eye way more than my camera can. That this is a, a really exceptional, really exceptionally molded figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight figures make up Warrior series. And oh man, it is one of my favorites. It's probably got to be my top three favorite blind bag series, mainly just for the color coordination, man. Like it's so such a refreshing take to have all of them integrated into each other. Some characters' weapons will match the other characters' armor. Sometimes their under armor will match their base coat. Like it all is integrated perfectly together. Especially the silver shotgun, silver assault rifle, silver shoulder pieces, silver flamethrower matching this guy's silver armor, and then the reds matching everyone else. And it all coming together, especially this gummy bolt shot and gummy under armor of the Promethean coming together with the gummy Atriox being the king of the figures. What a dope set. Let me know in the comments down below how many of these you've managed to score in the past, how many you've army built, or maybe if it's just on your radar for the first time now, let me know what blind bag series your favorite is as well. There's so much you can uh, talk about in the comments of this video. Shout out as always to my Patreons. You can support me on Patreon for just $3 or more, and it really does help the growth and health continuation of this channel. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there folks. And the Lord of the Monkeys, Gummy Atriox, is signing off.